Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Nothing personal. He's on a tear. Um, welcome cross watchers. For those of you who are brand new to the channel, thanks for joining and come into the comments. Say hi. Let me know where you're from. I reply to comments. Um, you know, if they're not full of hate, <laughs> I, I, I reply. Um, I'm going to let him sort of air his grievances for the moment, but if it gets out of hand, uh, I may need to put him upstairs, so we're just going to go with the flow for now, okay? And I do have to keep an eye on him because um, he's a handful. What I'm going to do is pull from Soul Helper Oracle to activate the reading. Let's get some good energy for you today, Scorpio. Ooh, card 20, nature is calling you. Not in that way. Um, it wants to touch, fulfill, and protect you with its healing powers. So there's some energy that's trying to come in and surround you. It's, it's natural, it's of a natural source. Um, and to, for prote with protective energy, I like that. That's a good message, especially as we um, ramp up to Mercury retrograde. We could all use a little natural protection and healing powers, right? Okay, so what I want to do is pull the main spread, give you my general impressions, and then I'll clarify what's needed. Overall energy, the star, beautiful. So we are either talking about some form of healing here or um you know keeping the faith the star to me can also be a card of magic and miracles wishes being granted dreams coming true so we'll keep that in mind as well definitely feel like we're focused on some healing here there's something that you are coming to find unsustainable um, it's getting your attention I feel it's already in your energy um, I'm gonna this, this top row here is your person the second row is your energy the third row is the connection it can be reversed so take it as it resonates past present future um, and I feel like in the past we, we've got for your person the magician you and the Queen of Pentacles this person very mutable very changeable hard to pin down um but and but with you as sort of the bedrock of the connection there's been an emphasis on um you know the mutual energies the reciprocal energies the mutual respect the give and take the um being mutually invested and i feel like this person um you know the magician is the trickster it's mercury um there may have been something that felt very changeable, hard to pin down. I think I already said that with this person and therefore uh, a struggle with uh, like, now you see him, now you don't kind of energy, like true magician. So where's their present energy? Four of cups. Um, yeah, they may be feeling the emotional distance right now. Um, some form of dissatisfaction, unhappiness even potentially a missed opportunity you are with the page of wands page of wands energy is a is a little um a bit of optimism it's almost as if trying to see the glass half full and in the connection we have the four of pentacles which it's like you're you're holding your cards you know playing it close to the vest like you're 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 um a healthy dose of skepticism um and guardedness but um, not really tipping your hand at this point. Your person in the near future with the Four of Swords, that is an energy of healing as well. Um, and you with the Tower, I don't think you're going to have a Tower moment. I think your eyes are going to be um, very much open to what's not sustainable in the connection. And therefore, it may be a little shock and awe. It, it, the, the Tower isn't always hellfire and damnation. Sometimes it's you know, the, the, the theme of the tower, not in this deck, but in most decks, it's a square tower with a round crown trying to be jammed on. It doesn't fit. There's something there that doesn't fit, that isn't, 
sustainable for the long haul. And so um, that may be where things are headed. Like at, at this juncture, you're trying to remain positive and optimistic, um, open to positive messages, maybe giving a positive message to this person who seems to be in a bit of a funk. Um, but then in the future, something is, is just not clicking. And the three of wands though for the connection is what's coming toward us, what's available to us. It is a card of manifestation as well. So that's my general impression. Let's get the details from the clarifiers, starting with the star. Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, Empress. Feels like there's, um, if, if healing is, is part of what you are dealing with right now or in the near future, I do see a reconciliation. I do see a cause for celebration. I feel it's being spearheaded by divine feminine, ener feminine energy, being open and receptive to kind of coming back together and, um, you know, taking care of anything that I'm sensing has, there has been a bit of a disconnect. That's my interpretation of this right now, but the star is also the, you know, the, the, the dream come true. And I feel like that's part of what it is you've wanted is this opportunity for this beautiful gift that you've been given in this connection to be realized and that that would be the celebration. So I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm seeing that that's what the overall energy is and that's where you're coming from right now with Page of Wands is kind of like um, the optimism is is newer it's a little fresh it's um, maybe not your comfort zone so i am seeing it as your way of trying to keep the energies up on the frequency higher and that's the overall energy that i'm seeing the magician for your person to the four of cups right now past to the present five of wands chariot Page of Pentacles. So like, um, like you got to start over. This person isn't happy that they couldn't pull something off. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Um, but there's something they were trying to finagle. And yeah, I, I don't think you were having any of it. There... There's the chariot is either moving toward or away from something, usually to serve our highest good. And now this person is trying to rally, is what it seems like. Um, and the page of pentacles and their unconscious awareness is, yeah, I gotta go back to the drawing board. And maybe that's what they're disappointed around, is that they were trying to, I don't know what they were trying to do, wrangle, maneuver, finagle, manifest yes but maybe not with um the most solid of intentions you know it feels like it might have been a little bit more self-serving um and, and that's neither here nor there it's just what's coming through four of cups right now with them to the four of swords in the future king of wands okay now they're coming at you head on six uh, yes okay so right so whatever they whatever they were finagling that's the word i'm going to use um back to the drawing board and now they're coming at it um st straight no chaser king of wands i know what i want i want this connection you make me happy you make me feel good you make me feel like i'm comfortable um i don't like how i'm feeling right now this thing that I tried to pull off that didn't come off well, and I'm seeking second chances in the situation. And this is somebody who, whatever the situation is about, um, they're, they're gonna need a little recovery time in the future because I have a feeling you're gonna shock them with a little bit of, yeah, no, um, back to the drawing board again. <laughs> it's just how it's kind of coming through. So let's go, Queen of Pentacles, I kind of understand. Page of Wands to the Tower. Present energy to the future. The world, Seven of Wands, Lovers. Extra card on the Tower, please.
Well, whatever is happening here and how it unfolds is what I'm really a little preoccupied with. Whatever that tower energy is, and for some of you, it's just an awakening. For others of you, it's, um, it's where you feel the instability, where you feel something that isn't going to work long term. And so you kind of pull back on the reins. You slow your roll. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is not in a rush, but I feel like that tower is trying to tell us something more. Um, Page of Wands with the World card. The Seven of Wands is some resistance. Uh, like you're, you're trying to stay optimistic right now. But I think when it comes to this connection, there's something that, that's been coming in cycles. And it's something that you're not, you're, you're, it's like you're going you're gonna to hit that wall with it where you say, yeah, I, I can't do it anymore. I'm trying to stay positive. I'd like to see this, this pattern or whatever it is close out. And the new beginning is one thing, but something else has to end in order for that to occur. And it's a choice. The lover's card is a card of choice. So while this person is seeking in their unconscious awareness or behind the scenes, some form of forgiveness, redemption, second chances, um, reunion, you've got the lover's card underneath in your unconscious awareness or playing out the scenes for you. And it almost seems like your, your respective inner monologues is, can we go again? And you're like, it's, there's a choice that needs to be made and this isn't working for me. There, it isn't working for me. And that may be, and then you may just slow the whole shebang down. That may be what the tower is about. And that may be why your person suddenly finds themselves in deep reflection, review. Remember, I just got done saying to you, Mercury is stationing retrograde on August 5th. Um, and that may be why you're being guarded to like, get in touch with nature. You're going to need a little bit of extra protection. Um, the Four of Swords to me is a Mercury retrograde card. It's a card of reflection, review, rest, um, recovery, reevaluating, reassessing. So that may be what happens is this person may um, try to uh, cycle back around and you may throw down the gauntlet and say, no, I'm, I'm not going to relive this cycle. Mm -mm. And so um, you become more circumspect about it. You become more focused on, well, where is this going? What is our intended goal? Um, what's the arrival? Like, what is this going to look like? If we begin with the end in mind with the Knight of Pentacles, we want to know what we're aiming for. And then it's a very methodical approach at that point. And I feel like that's what the tower is. It's like the, this isn't fitting. It's not working. I'm resisting. I don't want to cycle through this again. So that's who I'm talking to. The hope is there. You want, you want this to go well. You're trying to stay optimistic, but I feel there's a pattern here somewhere. Um, it, it looks like I'm seeing it in the past. The way that I'm sizing up the magician isn't in his highest and best vibration. And, and I feel like, you get to a point in the very near future where you're like, I'm not, I'm not buying what you're selling anymore. And so while I don't see a message of change per se, <clears throat> I'm feeling the tower is that, that moment of clarity, of awakening, of oh hell no, and then change can begin. So let's look at the connection. Um, the Six of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Yes, King of Swords. King of Cups, Queen of Swords. Hmm. Well, there's some Scorpio and the King of Swords. Queen of Swords. Is, uh, King of Cups. Oh, my gosh. Queen of Swords is Libra. But it feels like you've, you've been able to see through this person, right? Um... I feel you've taken a lot of hits. I feel there's been a lot of heartache in this connection because it hasn't been reciprocal. Hasn't There is love here, no doubt about it, um, but perhaps uh, some resistance, uh, some, de some 
guarded energy within the connection, like getting so close, but still being so far from something that resembles a nice, healthy, equal, give and take, equal investment. Um, I almost feel like you've been carrying this connection and you see, and you're seeing through something you've been seeing through it. So now let's get the, um, four of pentacles to the three of wands. The three of wands is anticipation of what's coming toward you. I pulled those two. I needed to pull this one. Thank you. When I pull from the bottom of the deck, that, that's important because it's what's playing out behind the scenes or unfolding in unconscious awareness. And I love that the two cards we have, um, Queen and King of Swords. So interestingly enough, we've got you both sort of in some form of strategy mode. It's about um, perceptions, your, your viewpoint. It's also about communication. Swords is always about that. So with the Four of Pentacles, we have a conversation that's important about commitment, um, right? What are, what are our expectations? That's an important word. Uh, the expectations may be part of the problem. And that could be where this person sort of wants to do the right thing. That's their general intention is to, the, to do the right thing. Um, but this may be something that they struggle with. That's very common. And therefore, if you sense that, you're guarded. If they feel a push towards something more committed, they're guarded. So I'm reading for the connection. So therefore, it's sort of a blend of the both of you. But I feel like a conversation is going to take place around what your expectations are with regard to um, something more formal in this connection. Yep, and I do want to look at this more in detail from this person's point of view. I'll call this person, let's say, our magician king of wands. Um, I, do, I do feel this person ha has strong desire to rectify the situation, but I think um, maybe their approach is sort of um, like a redux. It, it keeps going back in a cycle of some sort. And that's where you're like, I don't think I can do this anymore. So let's look at their, you know, how they feel about you, their intentions, what they're processing right now. If this has resonated for you, the links to that extended are below. You will see option one or option two or option three. There are three ways you can get extendeds. And so be sure you check it out before you purchase. Okay. Um, also, I'm going to give you the astrology, but before I do that, I'm going to ask once again, if you have not yet, but you have been enjoying my readings, subscribe. If you're brand new and you got a lot out of this, subscribe. <laughs> okay, That's the only way I can grow this thing. Um, yeah, there have been a lot of changes, as you know, on the platform in general. And I have been making some progress. Thank you very much to those of you who have heeded my calls and requests for, you know, like, subscribe, share, comment, engage. That has meant so much to me because it does make a difference. So that's my ask. Okay, here we go. The star is Aquarian energy. We have the beautiful Empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra. The magician is Mercury which rules Virgo and Gemini. Chariot is Cancerian energy, our page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Wands is Leo. Judgment is Pluto, the ruling planet of Scorpio. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles is um, Capricorn. The page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy. The world is Saturn, Aquarius and Capricorn. The lovers is Gemini. And then we have the tower is Mars, which rules Aries, and the knight of pentacles is Virgo. King of cups is Scorpio, queen of swords is Libra. The hierophant is Taurus, king of swords is Aquarian energy. So that's what I have. Um, yeah, 
healing's definitely going to be needed, the star and the four of swords. But I have a feeling the healing is needed more for your person than for you. But it is a difficult situation. Anyway, you look at it. Let's go take a look at what they're processing and um, what intentions they may um, have for the future of this connection. I'm headed there in a second. I'll um, see you there. Bye for now.